Okay, this is my fishing report for December 1st, uh, 2018. Unlike the other gaps that um, I didn't put any videos, I actually fished all the time. I probably fished in the month of November probably six times, a couple times, twice a week, and nearly every week. So I've been out for Lake Fork uh, counting. I went on two guide trips, one with my friend Roy and one with Mike McFarland, which was in the previous video. And the fishing is picking up. Um, they're moving deep, and the way to go is to go deep, uh, mark some shad, um, fish it, see if you get some yellow bass. If you get some yellow bass in, then um, stay there. Eventually, you're going to catch some bass. Um, that's, that's been the pattern. It's pretty much held up um, the last three times. That The only thing different is they're moving out deeper. Um, I guess earlier in the month, they were about 22, 25 feet. Now you're starting to mark them in 28 to 32 feet. So they're slowly drifting out where they're going to be all winter long. Um, pretty much if, if you find a big shad school and a big school of yellow bass, you're probably going to be good to go for the rest of the year. Just go back in there and fish it until some um, largemouth bite. Um, I caught a four-pounder and I think a two and you're going to see the little one I caught here in the video here in a minute. But uh, this is the way to go for the rest of the year. I've been using a spoon that my friend Roy makes. Um, it's, the smaller ones seem to be getting you the most action. But the bigger one ends up getting you bigger fish though. Uh, I'm not fishing one of those flutter spoons that you see. You hear people talking about. I'm sure that they'll catch fish too. But uh, I fish opposite someone who was fishing one and I was wearing them out with a smaller spoon so um, I'm gonna stick with a smaller spoon I'll probably change what I'll probably do is I got three spinning rods I'll put three different spoons on them and I'll just switch between them and see which one that gives me the action that day um, mostly the smaller spoons getting the most action because that's about the size of the shad that they're eating so you're getting uh, action from all four species you're getting yellows, you're getting sand bass, you're getting crappie, and you're getting bass with that one. But like I said, the bigger spoon generally only gets bass. Um, the first cast, I was showing a buddy how to fish a spoon, and the very, very first cast, I hooked up a uh, four pounder. And then later on in that day, um, I had one that was huge that I could not ne never turn, um, because I first thought it was hung up, and the first time when I realized I was had a fish on, he had the upper advantage. And, and also I think my leader was nicked up from catching all the yellows I've been catching. That's something I'm going to have to do is retie very more than what I do. I lost a very big fish because of that. Uh, this clip I'm about to show you here is what I'm calling yellow bass extravaganza. Um, the second fish in is actually uh, bass. The rest of these are sandies and mostly yellows. Fucking on it. Yeah, we got a fish. That's a little black right there. <laughs> it is, and I thought, well, that's a smile. So we know we're so down. So we know we're so down. For a second, I thought, yeah. He pulled a little bit harder than those old old young. Oh, there's a good one. He's a bigger one than I've been catching. He's my beast little size little guy.
Spin up a bunch of shads out of his mouth. Four times before I finally got him. This one, this little guy, he got it all in his mouth. Yeah. I had like three of them follow him up. I saw him in the water. The two that followed him up were bigger. And this was a trip I took with my friend Roy. Uh, I think we probably caught 150 fish all together with yellows, uh, sand bass, crappie, and I think we caught maybe two or three bass that day. But again, that's what I'm calling yellow bass extravaganza. Until next time, tight lines.